Chris, were you working with the leaf cutter ants? Yeah. Did you get ants in your pants again? Maybe. You may not have ants in your pants, but if you live in certain parts of the world, you may have leaf cutter ants in your backyard. If you see large brown ants walking along a straight line with little chunks of leaves on their head, you've found your ants. Leafcutter ant colonies live in Central and South America and can also be found in parts of the southern United States. Now a lot of people think that all ants are really, really small, but leafcutter ant workers can be over half an inch long and the queens can be even larger. These ants have the right bite for cutting leaves. Their jaws are specialized for cutting pieces of plants, which they then carry back to the underground nest. Most people think that leafcutter ants actually eat the leaves that they cut, but they don't. In reality, leafcutter ants eat fungus. After licking them clean and cutting them into smaller pieces, they tuck the bits of leaves into the nest chambers to help the fungus grow. In turn, the leafcutter ants eat the fungus, which means they grow their own food. Do you have chores that you do around your house? Well, in a leafcutter ant colony, almost every single ant is a worker. And they do chores around the colony based on their body size. The smaller ants, called minims, usually stay in the underground nest to help take care of the fungus, as well as take care of the eggs that the queen has laid. The larger worker ants, called majors, will help lift the heavy things as well as defend the colony. And if there's danger, how do you think they would warn one another? Do they yell, look out, like you and I would do? No, that's not right. Ants use certain chemicals to communicate to each other to let them know where there's a really good food source to take back to the colony or where there's danger. So the next time you have chores to do, do it like an ant, bit by bit, and maybe even turn it into a team project.